Today, about one in three children are either overweight or obese. Obesity in childhood can set a dangerous trajectory for life, increasing the long-term risk for cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and other complications. Some of these children can look metabolically like unhealthy, overweight 50-year-olds, even at the age of 10 or 15. Obese children are oftentimes suffering from poor self-esteem, depression. As a result, they may have developed eating disorders to deal with the problem. This can carry a tremendous burden, leading to effects on their academic performance, their social involvement, with long-term implications to how successful this individual will be as an adult. Children's Hospital has many roles in the battle to end childhood obesity. Um, to begin with, we offer several clinics that uh, provide comprehensive care for overweight and obese children and their families. Basic research is taking place in many laboratories looking at the genetic determinants of body weight. Children's Hospital is also very active in the public health arena. Ultimately, part of the solution for the obesity epidemic has to come through changes in policy and practices at the state and national level. But I'm often asked what are the single best or single worst foods to eat. And ultimately what's most important is whether foods look like they come from nature or they look like they come from a factory. Highly processed foods are wrong for every possible reason. All of the health promoting nutrients have been removed. The calories have been concentrated. And these foods wind up um, causing changes in the body that make weight gain and obesity unavoidable for many people. So as a simple rule, I ask parents and children to think, is it real or fake? And just that one question can help guide profound nutrition change in the home. While it is a glimmer of hope that the rates are seeming to be stabilizing, we actually have to do much more. We have to bring those rates down before we can feel that we've actually begun to win the battle against childhood obesity.